Could artificial intelligence and mixed reality technology help crack cold criminal cases? Increasingly in recent years, forensic genealogy testing has allowed authorities to solve old, cold criminal cases. For instance, in 2018, DNA evidence provided by a well-known genealogical database allowed charges to be brought against the Golden State Killer, who had been living under the radar for decades. That same year, reports a recent study in Forensic Science International, authorities solved nearly 50 cold cases of either murder or missing individuals using direct-to-consumer genetic genealogy databases. Could currently emerging technologies help solve cold cases in the future? At the best of times, processing a crime scene can be pretty dreary. It takes a lot of time, effort, focus and concentration to gather all tangible evidence at the scene. The crime scene investigator must secure the site and gather the evidence right away since the scene's condition changes with time. Any error could help a criminal evade justice. When a case grows cold, police focus their attention on new cases with newer information. Roughly 250,000 cold cases are currently on file with the FBI Uniform Crime Report, which works with regional law enforcement. Recent advances in artificial intelligence could begin to shed light on some of these old and cold cases. AI could help by reducing detectives' workload in old cold cases, searching files for faint clues based on traces of evidence, chemical analysis, global positioning, and other information. Combining AI results with DNA data, facial recognition software, and human analysis, detectives and volunteers can take a fresh look to determine whether an old case is worth investigating. Historically, old and cold cases were deemed too complex to reopen. However, AI may streamline the process and ensure the security of pertinent data, preventing loss or manipulation. Forensic exams must synthesize all facts to determine the cause and manner of death. They must be consistent throughout. No single discovery can be assessed in isolation. AI can be extremely useful here. With machine learning, a specific type of AI, computers learn to program themselves through experience. Machine learning algorithms train on massive data sets of many kinds, such as numbers, photos, texts, bank transactions, repair records, or sales reports. The more data, the more effective the algorithm. Programmers then select a machine learning model, provide the data, and allow the computer to train itself to find patterns or make predictions. The human programmer can also tweak the model over time, changing its parameters to help it produce more accurate results. Machine learning is divided into three subcategories. Supervised machine learning models are trained using labeled datasets, allowing them to learn and improve over time. For example, an algorithm could be trained with images of dogs and other objects that have all been labeled by humans, teaching the machine to learn how to identify images of dogs on its own. Supervised learning today is the most popular kind of machine learning. In unsupervised machine learning, a program searches unlabeled data for patterns. Unsupervised machine learning can detect patterns or trends that humans aren't necessarily looking for, making it quite powerful. Unsupervised machine learning software may, for example, identify various categories of customers that make certain purchases. Reinforcement machine learning uses a reward system to guide computers through a process of trial and error until they find the optimal response. Reinforcement learning can be used to teach models how to play games or teach self-driving cars how to drive. This is done by telling the machine when it has made the right choice, which helps it learn over time what to do. In some cases, machine learning can perform certain tasks more quickly and efficiently than a human, and it can sometimes perform tasks of which humans aren't capable. Because of the sheer volume of data and information, humans often overlook nuances or fail to fully connect the dots. Research led by Northumbria University in Newcastle, UK, has already demonstrated one specific way AI can be used for forensics. Dr. Matteo Galitabino, senior lecturer in forensic science at Northumbria University, has revealed that machine learning could be used to determine which ammunition, and ultimately which firearm, was responsible for a specific gunshot from the residue it left behind. Dr. Galitabino explains, through careful fine-tuning, machine learning algorithms can be applied to predict important characteristics of the ammunition used in a particular shooting event from those of respective gunshot residue GSR, deposited on surrounding surfaces or items such as spent cases, wounds, and potentially also the shooter's hands. Compared to the techniques now used for GSR analysis, this is a revolutionary advancement. 
The research team's use of complex computer statistics makes it possible to identify the ammunition that caused the different gunshot traces at a crime scene and link these traces with unprecedented accuracy. Currently, both results are difficult to achieve with conventional forensic techniques. Further advancements could allow police to quickly pursue many investigative leads, avoiding the errors that once resulted in unsolved crimes. In the late 1960s, the Zodiac Killer terrorized San Francisco. In 1996, Tupac Shakur was shot dead in Las Vegas, and John JonBenet Ramsey was found dead in Boulder, Colorado. To this day, nobody knows who committed these crimes. Could artificial intelligence help solve these cases? Digitized evidence, witness statements, and suspect data combined with machine learning could divulge patterns that could crack cases such as these. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll investigate how VR and AR could be used together with AI for a powerful combination to solve cold cases. What cases would you like to see solved by artificial intelligence? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Paul Spiegel. Like, follow, subscribe, and catch us next time to see how you, plus science, can help save the world.